So let's set the scene. The perfect Instagram photo, setting up that perfect boomerang, checking out the latest viral food spot, but you can't find parking because other influencers are beating you there. So now you're stuck. Go beat the traffic and find the hidden gems. Come with us as we visit the top 10 places to visit in San Bernardino. Hi, my name is Robert Carrillo, President and Associate Broker at Carrillo Group CANY. Hi, my name is Yvette Romero, Associate at Carrillo Group CANY. Hang out with us until the end because we want to share a resource with you. Number 10 place to visit, the original McDonald's, the first one. San Bernardino is home of the McDonald's Museum. In 1940, Dick and Mac McDonald opened as McDonald's Barbecue Restaurant on 14th and E Street, a barbecue restaurant. They had car hops and a 25 cent menu items that included barbecue ribs, beef, and pork sandwiches. Yo, today you can visit that McDonald's as a museum of the world's most prominent restaurant including a collection of Happy Meal toys. Number nine place to visit in San Bernardino is home of the Inland Empire 66ers, the Los Angeles Angels minor league baseball team. San Manuel Stadium. The regular season goes from April through September. All 5,000 seats face home plate and the additional grass area can hold an additional 5,000 fans. Definitely come check out a game. The number eight place to visit in San Bernardino. Now, there are many different parts, but specifically Paris Hill Park. This park is named after an influential member of the San Bernardino community, Frederick Thomas Paris, and is one of the best parks in all of San Bernardino. It's got over 60 acres of parkland. There are various activities, including a less than half mile hike to the top of the Paris Hill for one of the best um, photo opportunities with a panoramic view of the entire city. Outside the hill climb, the park also features baseball diamonds, different playground areas, a swimming pool with a water park, 50 picnic tables, and a large shade producing tree. Number seven place to visit in San Bernardino, another gorgeous park with plenty of photo opportunities, Glen Helen Regional Park. Enjoy a picnic with friends, a solo hike, or you can even catch a concert at the Glen Helen Amphitheater. One place and so many different things to do. So many different things to do, and they're fun things, right? Yo, Yvette, did you know that San Bernardino has a military like history to it. I did not, tell me more. Yo, so it brings us to the number six place to visit in San Bernardino, the Norton Air Force Base Museum. It's a small military museum on East and Third Street. The Air Force um, base was around from 1942 to 1994, so about 50 years, 52. And if you like military history in particular, you wanna check this out. The history of San Bernardino is safely stored in this small museum. Beautiful San Bernardino history. I love learning new things about San Bernardino. All right, halfway through this list of best places to visit in San Bernardino and the best is yet to come. We've established some of the beauty in San Bernardino. And some of the history. Yes, that's right, the history. And part of that history is art. So the number five place to visit in San Bernardino is California Theater of the Performing Arts. You can check out their website for current performances because they have different performances every month and they have different ticket packages. Recently, the Blue Man Group and the Lion King. Uh, and down the street from the theater, you can soak up the city at the E Street Alley of Art. So much to do, that is a lot to do. And while you're there, go grab a boba from Viva La Boba, the best boba spot in San Bernardino and we've got to find some food spots. That's right, which brings us to the number four place to visit in San Bernardino, Uptown San Bernardino on 40th Street. Yo, so we know San Bernardino is inundated with fast food restaurant mm -hmm. and it's considered a food desert. But on 40th Street, we have two of the best places to eat in San Bernardino, a New York style deli and the best fish taco truck in the country yo so for real for that authentic deli sandwich visit uh empire deli in uptown san bernardino and i'm telling you we have the best fish taco truck in the country probably baja king fish taco history art and food i really love this city while you're on 40th street this has to be one of the best things to see in san bernardino the arrowhead one of the most famous landmarks in the inland empire Yep, here's the Arrowhead mm -hmm. right here. And another gem, straight up, another gem is the Arrowhead Springs Hotel. It's five minutes from 40th Street. 
probably the most hidden and beautiful spot that I've seen in all of San Bernardino. All right, the number three place to visit in San Bernardino is located at the base of the mountains at, at the Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Yo, forget that four hour ride to Las Vegas. Yamava has luxurious accommodations that are similar to the best Vegas casinos, a world-class event venue, premier gaming, exquisite dining, something for everyone. Yo, the Red Hot Chili Peppers performed there and Erica Bad. The number two place to visit in San Bernardino is a destination spot. Quick trip up the mountain to the little community of Crestline. Spend a day at the Lake Gregory Regional Park, a quick hike to Heart Rock. Your visitors from all over the state come and visit this beautiful mountain area for their retreat. Which brings us to the number one spot to visit in San Bernardino. The number one place to visit in San Bernardino at 5,174 feet of elevation, the majestic mountains of Lake Arrowhead. Nestled in the San Bernardino National Forest, the best kept secret on the West Coast. Activities range all year long, outdoor spring and summer activities, such as hiking, backpacking, bicycling, water play, fishing, and then winter activities, including sledding and skiing, of course, snow play, and much more. Drive up for a day or visit Cozy Lodge to stay the night. If you like this episode and would like to see more like this, click on the boxes on the screen. Thanks for coming with us to San Bernardino. I am Yvette Romero. And I'm Robert Carrillo. Our contact info is in the description box below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss future episodes. Thank you for watching. We are Carrillo Group, C-A-N-Y, where we do real estate with purpose. Peace. Peace.